Hello, hello, hello everyone. Ancient Soul tapping in again for another YouTube video. As you can see by the title, I'll be sharing a few tips that I think is important for you to know before embarking on one of the most beautiful journeys ever, and that is the lock journey. So stay tuned. So the first thing that I think is generally the most important thing to know before starting your locks is the type of locks that you want seeing that there are a variety of different locks out there it's best to do research on the different types of locks there are and pick one that is best suited for your personality we do have different types of locks we have traditional locks micro locks sister locks also we have wicks and freeform locks based on what you think would look best on you and what you would feel most comfortable in you can do the proper research and select the type that you want on yourself the next thing that i think is quite important to check before starting your locks is to check the health of your hair if you have bleached color damage ends it's best to get those trimmed and cut before you start and also if your hair is uneven in different places like the front is shorter than the back or the back shorter than the front just so your locks are at the best health when you do actually start them the next important thing for you to know before installing your locks is to have realistic expectations your locks won't look like mature locks exactly in a few months it might take a couple months well locks go through a lot of phases we have the starter locks phase the budding phase the teenage phase and then finally mature locks i'd want you to go into the journey knowing that for a while your hair will be looking um going through different phases i want you to go ahead and stick it out because the results it's well worth it it's quite important to know before starting your lock journey is the method in which you want to start there are a few methods out there we have starting with the coil method two strand twist the crochet or instant lock method and also free forming the method you start your hair out with i feel like it determines how quickly your hair locks up based on your hair's texture and density and also how your locks look as they form i just think it's best to just do proper research and see which one suits you best please it's in your best interest to embrace all the stages yes your hair will be looking frizzy and fuzzy and kind of questionable like you're not taking care of yourself never mind that embrace each stage because each phase is leading up to your hair being different and fully locked when you're getting locks just know that less is more so you don't need a whole bunch of products but ensure that you have at least a spray bottle so that you can keep your scalp moisturized when you wet your hair it actually helps it to lock up faster and you also need to ensure that your hair is hydrated when you're starting locks too based off of your preference i would usually advise to analyze if you'd want to go to a loctician to have them install some starter locks or if you'd want to be the one to start the locks yourself and to also self-maintain always great to have a professional do anything for you when it comes to your hair especially but it's also quite easy to do them yourself you could part your hair yourself and put some twists in and never take them out and you could literally just leave them be and they will lock up eventually it's important to know if you'd want to spend money to install them if you don't feel like you're confident enough to do them yourself or if you feel like you can put some twists in or some coils in then you do that and go ahead and start your lock journey like today today right now <laughs> brief intermission but i did my hair i think two days ago let me know in the comments how you guys are liking it um i said that this year i would challenge myself to style my hair more because i'm a simple lot girly i don't do too much I like when my hair is puffy wild and free i did this lock not bob let me know in the comment section if you guys are feeling this hairdo if you're parting your hair yourself i would advise for you to know how you're going to part your hair because we do have different parting systems you could do um diamond parts as well as square parts we even have circular 
parts for your locks and it's important to check your parting because you want to ensure that the base of your hair has enough hair to support the locks once it's mature because it will have some weight to it because of all the gathered hair that's locked together so you don't want to part your hair too small and then when the hair from that area locks up it becomes too heavy for the root and it causes the thinning so ensure that you're parting your hair evenly and with enough hair to support the size of the locks i know the temptation is going to be real um for when you're going through the lock journey and your hair is frizzy and you want to retwist it but i advise you to halt twisting too often retwisting your hair too often can cause thinning i know it's because it would assist you to feel more confident especially when your hair is frizzy and wild and you just want to retwist it to tame it retwisting your hair too often i feel like tends to thin it out even with myself if i retwist my hair too often i feel like it starts to get a little more slender in places that i don't want it to be thinning out in because it will snap off and break as tempting as it is it's for your best interest because i know we all want thick luscious juicy locks you're going to need to trust the process and i mean you're going to have to trust the process you're going to have moments where you're saying is it even worth looking like this right now let me tell you the reward is well worth it i mean locks are so beautiful and when your hair is going through a fuzzy state stage it's literally that just a phase that's all the tips i have um, i could do a part two version just let me know in the comment section as well if you guys have any question for me thank you for gracing me with your company if you'd like to see more content from me you could go ahead and click that subscribe button and i'll see you again in the next one thank you for tapping in with me bye